Welcome back to Messiah of the Dark Mightful Magic. Let's kick some goblins off into the abyss. And by the abyss, I mean the 20 foot fall. Actually, it's probably more like 15 feet. Well, maybe it's 20. Yeah, that's 20. Might even be 30, actually. Would anybody like a drink? Would you like a drink? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Get off. Get off. Get off. Alright, we're done. Upper temple. You don't say. There's more of them. Uh, it just disappeared? Where, where did it go? I swear the range on their weapons is unrealistically long. Have this basket. Yeah, their range is ridiculous. I think they exaggerated the range just so they have some combat prowess. Are you still- oh my god. I'll leave you there. He's gonna hit me in the back of the head in about 20 minutes. What the heck is this? Uh. Ooh! Healing water. <laughs> He's coming for me. Slowly but surely. Wait. Look around first. Think about what you're doing. Oh yeah, by the way, I know the game looks ridiculously dark. I was messing with the brightness options, and I realized that... I mean, the game just looks dark, just straight up. It just looks dark, no matter what you do with the brightness level, it's just weird. But I noticed that whatever I do with this brightness slider, it doesn't actually show up in the recording for some reason, and I have no idea why. I can see it. It is brighter for me than it is for you, because the default is like here. But as you can see, right now the darkness is changing for me, but you can't see it. It's doing nothing for you. I have no idea why, it's really weird. Don't really know what to do about that. Anyway, I think I'm just not supposed to step on the pressure plates. Fire traps. Staff of the Fire Lord. I don't use staffs, but that sounds pretty cool. Scroll of Charm. I don't need a scroll for that. Scroll of Sanctuary. What does that do? Just says cast Sanctuary spell. What is Sanctuary? Is it one of my normal spells? There it is. Magic shield that protects you from physical attacks and magic projectiles for a short period of time. Okay, so it's temporary invulnerability. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Now, where's the staff? Where's that long, hot staff? Oh, plus six damage against enemies vulnerable to fire. Hmm. So, its base damage is actually the same as my current sword. It's. As far as I can tell, it's strictly better. But I don't know if it has, like, a different moveset or what. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> that is badass looking. Wow. Yeah, that is a very different moveset, actually. It's, it's really, really slow to attack. Yeah, it takes like a good one and a half to two seconds to actually charge up my power strike like this. It's much slower. Much, much slower. I don't think it's worth it. I'll try it out, just for the fun of it. Can I do this attack? 
Yep, you can. Just like the sword if you jump while doing that. That dude finally come back. Maybe he passed out from blood loss. This hot, fiery staff in my hands is actually kind of distracting. It's really big. It's a really big staff. Look at it. Mana regeneration? I think so. It is blue, which is the universal color of <gasps> mana. Something bad happened here. Involving explosives, I think. Uh, I don't see any pressure plates, though. Can I get up there? I don't think the rope is going to come down far enough. Never mind. Don't think you're actually supposed to get here. Oh, wait. Maybe you are. <laughs> magic mushrooms? I didn't know magic mushrooms existed. What the hell? Restore your health and mana. Okay, I guess it's like a superfood. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I shoot an arrow into the bush? Damn. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Gutting Chris? It's obviously a dagger. I can never find anything that goes into my damn inventory. Is it on my hot bar? No. Oh, it's because I picked up a single dagger, but for some reason the icons too confuse me. Yeah, it looks like daggers probably focus on like poison and adding percent chance of critical hits. Makes sense. Seems appropriately roguish. One skill point. Okay, n ooh, sweet. That means I should now have enough skill points to upgrade my uh, strength, which means I should be able to use the meat cleaver, or whatever that other weapon is that does way more damage. Let's do it. Yeah, all attacks of the weapon do plus three damage instead of plus two, so that's good. And now I can use this. Cleaver. So plus seven instead of plus three, which is what my old weapon used. Let's see what the moveset's like. Let's see if it's different. It's got an interesting shape to it. Curved. Seems pretty long, though. Okay, moves that looks the same as the sword. Is it just as fast? Mm. I think it's just about as fast. We'll have to see how it is during normal combat. But first I want to try the Staff of the Fire Lord, just for fun. I'll forget it. Careful, dear. There are orcs about. Ooh, I'm gonna get to kick some people off. 
Mind the edge. It's a long way down. Finally, a part of the game that doesn't look black as hell. I can actually see. Kind of. Except for, you know, this spot here. But hey, we can just turn on night vision and oh my god, it's reversed. Now that's light and that's incredibly... I, I literally can't even see. I want to just shoot ropes into all those trees and just hang off the edge and see what happens. Anyway, take my hot, fiery staff. What the? Oh, where the fuck did you guys come from? <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of awesome. They can't even get down the stairs and heat is burned. <laughs> I'm taking shit tons of damage. Alright, this thing kind of sucks. Use the high ground on my advantage. Okay. Yeah, the staff is cool, but no thanks. That's not for my fighting style. You shoot an arrow into that. Oh, why is this so loud? Oh my god. The flies are coming for me. I'm not rotting yet. Yeah, so the rope does not like bend around the corner or something. Just a straight line. It goes as far as it can go until it hits a, hits a surface. Why is there like a connection between the two plates? What's going on there? What is that? It's a chain. But why? Eh, whatever. Look at this place, you can see all of their dwellings tacked onto the side. It's pretty cool. A moment, Sarath. Let's look around. Hmm. Well, I keep going up, but. Alright, that's gonna take me up. Alright, slow down. Slow down. I don't want to get hit by you. I thought this was where I was uh, supposed to go. I didn't know this was a secret. Hmm. Feels like a boss arena almost. Is there gonna be like a vampire in here? Lightning daggers.
<laughs> oh, I could actually use them. Wow, damage plus four. Plus eight against enemies vulnerable to lightning. Yeah, these elemental weapons could be useful against certain enemies. Maybe. I don't remember which ones are vulnerable to fire. I believe spiders are. Other than that, I don't remember. I think one of my bestiaries uh, says who is vulnerable to what. Stop or die. That is not a good place to move, buddy. Do not move closer to the edge. Wait, if this is where I'm supposed to go, then what's up the shaft? It's jammed. We'll have to fix it. <laughs> oh, okay. Taking the stairs will do you some good anyway. With luck, we'll find a way to repair it on our way up. I think I needed to do that actually to update my quest. Good thing I tried it. Who else wants a good kicking? Annoying little bastards. Can you see them in the water? No, they disappear. Good thing I jumped there. I only saw that hole at the last second. That doesn't go anywhere. Man, this rope bow just opens up so many possibilities. Because I can do that, right? Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, it might be because they're probably physics objects. Yeah, the rope bridge probably has physics, and I doubt you can attach a physics object to another physics object? I don't think this is Gary's mod. Even if it is Source Engine. Come from. I feel like I can break this bridge, but if I do that, then oh, okay. Uh, how am I supposed? to get across now. Oh, I can just go that way. Alright, we're good. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Another magic mushroom. Ah, 
Oh, I actually have to shoot a arrow up here. Oh, crap. This is going to be bad, because they're going to be shooting at me the entire time. Alright, gotta be quick. Don't shoot me off. Get off. Get off. Soul Drinker. I like how these, like, named rare weapons are just sitting in puddles of water. Like, how do they get there? It's kind of weird. Oh, requires strength 3. Ooh. Adds 30% of damage dealt to wielder's health. That sounds awfully good. The amount of damage it does is pretty poor, though. Cursed weapon created by a necromantic ritual that binds a tormented spirit into a new forged blade. The resulting weapon feeds on the life force of its victims. I'm definitely going to keep that. I don't feel like the damage it does is good enough, but still, that sounds pretty sweet. Hello, secrets. Oh, come on. Eh. Eh. Fuck, I put it too close. Uh. Can I, can I go down? Huh. Oh, oh, there we go. Come, come on! Alright, thank you. Getting screwed by the ropes. <laughs> Another magic mushroom. Just how magic are these mushrooms? Uh... Ah! What? I don't know what just happened. I should have grabbed the other rope. Whatever. I'm not going back up there for another magic mushroom. I've got plenty. That actually went considerably better than I thought it would go. I think I'm getting better at the combat. Is, is that a freaking body? 
It looks like a really small body turned into ashes. I don't know, it's vaguely humanoid shaped. That's creepy. Ring of the Phoenix. Once your health reaches zero, the ring prevents you from dying and restores your health. The ring then breaks. Hmm. <laughs> Rise again like the phoenix. That is obviously not a general purpose ring, but that would be very good during maybe like a boss encounter. Yeah, I'm gonna save that. Oh, look at the beautiful view. So I think I'm supposed to go that way, but I want to know what is up here. Hmm, garlic. pathway. Looks like that's it. Got a wizard robe. Yay! I love wizard robes. Let's get me some ham. Come on. Did you cut it down, or did you just take it? That's weird. I, I remember cutting ham down before. Oh wait, let's take the, the upper path. Block. There must be something interesting inside. Let's find another way in. Oh, I guess I have to actually take the upper path. Ugh, it smells like rotting meat in here. I'm gonna have to fight a weird creature? Nope, just spiders. Let's do stabbing motions. Oh god. I really don't want to get stung. I think going in a circle is actually a really effective strategy. Because then it seems like they can't actually focus on you long enough to actually leap at your face.
we're good. House falling apart. What just broke? Oh god. Alright, quickly. No! I wanted the loot. How the hell? Alright, so it's not time-based, it's actually location-based. It looks like if you walk out there, you trigger a, a script, I guess. I guess technically it's supposed to be that you're walking, like, you know, out, putting more weight on the outside of the house or whatever. Alright, so hold on. Get this out of here. Can you not get any of it? <laughs> actually survived there for a couple seconds. Uh, could I do something with a rope arrow? I really want that armor, even though it's probably the same shit I've had before. Is it just a trick? Is it just to mess with me, or is there actually a way to get it? Maybe you're supposed to use telekinesis, which I don't have. That is actually quite possible. Um, is that where you put a rope? In this? It shouldn't, because it's a physics object. It does. What's going to happen when it breaks? Mm, the rope is going to be too short, though, even when it breaks. It's not going to go super long down, because the height is determined when it's when the rope is created, not with its possibility that it might get longer if something moves out of the way. You really can't get it. What if I just grab onto this? I'm curious. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that works. Um... I, th I think that's actually gonna work. I just need to make more ropes. Well, oh. There's one more? Uh. Uh. Okay, and we're good. Well, there's a health potion. There we go. Now we're good. Okay, now you can break. Let's check out this armor. So I had chainmail, that's what I had before. Plate. Yeah, it requires more endurance and adds one to my armor class. Nice. Kablunk! Sweet. Am I supposed to jump across there? I mean, I will if you want me to. So that was the one that was locked over there. So let's go back to that. What's going on in here? Huh. There's been fighting here. But who? Why?
Arachnophilic Temple Cliffsite. <laughs> Official Expedition Logbook. Entries maintained by Overseer Garen. 988. Yizd. Month of the Crystal Tears, 27th. And despite the collapsed sections of the temple mount along the cliffside, our team has finally accessed the upper temple thanks to the discovery of a natural joint fissure in the cliff face. Initial surveys of the top of the central tower suggest that the astral channeling system lacks an eldritch power source at the cap of the shaft. Oh, I guess that's why it's not running. Month of the Crystal Tears, 28th. Several of the ropes to the upper temple snapped while hoisting serving equipment shortly after high sun. Sadly, apprentice Darcia was caught underneath the surveying equipment and was killed instantly. With luck, the joint fissure in the cliff face may prove wide enough to install a lift for larger equipment and safer travel to the upper temple. Month of the Crystal Tears, 30th. Our survey teams have detected a magical energy source similar to the one in the temple's aura. There must be some sort of immensely powerful crystal inside the vault on the northern branch of the upper temple. Unfortunately, the vault is guarded by numerous traps. Which is how long... Oh, holy crap, this is actually kind of long. Month of the Dancing Flames, second. Lady Liana has returned with materials for the lift and word from Master Menelag on how to proceed as regards to the buried crystal. Apparently, Master Menelag feels a dig site has proven too costly in terms of lives, and will seek counsel back in the city before we proceed. In surveying the central tower shaft, journeyman Largo's anchor pulled free from some rotten masonry. He fell over 80 meters to his death. Lady Liana is presiding over the funerary services in his absence. The Lady Liana has made significant progress on her research into the ritual of command utilized in opening the crypts. The lifts using Master Manalag's levitation devices have been installed at several points along the cliff face to aid in transporting larger equipment to the upper temple. Does any of this actually matter? I don't think any of it does. She left Teresa Bly, due her to return in several days. Apparently one of the local goblin tribes is squatting in the ruins. Oh yes, I encountered them. This day has been a disaster. The entire lower camp has been slaughtered. Ah, so this is where it goes to what actually happened and why he's dead. Our prospects look grim. My best guess is that there were more of the goblins than we imagined, and they overwhelmed the sentries before they could sound the alarm. Those few of us working up on the cliff managed to jam the lift in time to protect the upper temple. Oh, that's why it doesn't work. We then barricaded ourselves here inside the Acolyte's quarters. Cordo and Hestia are wounded and bleeding badly. There is nothing I can do for them, and I do not think they will last the night. I pray we can hold out until Lady Liana or Master Turgon return with help. I don't think we made it in time. We have gone from the Crucible into the flames. Neither of them have returned. Force of Irks, uh, or Irks. <laughs> A bunch of Irks have slaughtered the Gooblins. Little flame. Burned him out. Okay. So, this is where Menelag's expedition made its last stand. I'll bet they're the ones who blocked the elevators to keep the orcs out. You bet? Or you know, because that's what it literally said in the log. Did you read it or not? You're inside my head, right? Can't you, like, read what I'm reading? Don't you know what I know? Anyway, I think I'm supposed to go back there in that pathway, but before that, what is here? Where did, I, where did I come from exactly? Did I come from the outside? Or up above? Oh, hi. in here. So freaking gloomy. That's it. Mana potion and a spider. That wasn't worth it. I love the grunting. It's very erotic. Yes, this is where I came from. So, that means there's only the right way to go, as well as here. Oh wait, so I didn't need to make that jump. Why did I think I had to make that jump? Weird. 
Okay, let's go the right way. Still in one piece. Do you think the orcs have been keeping it up? Orcs aren't stupid. Give it a try. I did it! I'm a master engineer. Two skill points. That's not enough for anything. Loading screen? This looks like a loading screen hallway. It's not. Whoa. forge something new. Um, I don't think it's going to be any better than the last thing I forged, though. Because I think the book... Where, where is it? Assuming I didn't dump it. No, here it is. Yeah, it says steel is fine, but flame gold is the best. Well, I don't have any flame gold. I only have steel again, so I think it's going to make the same thing. Unless there's, like, a new mold? I mean, I guess there's no harm in using it. See if it makes something new. It. And it's the same longsword as before. Unless that's literally the same longsword as before. It's hard to tell where things go. I don't know. That wasn't exactly spectacular. What the hell is that? Interesting. I forgot the names of those things. What the hell are they called? The forked things? Like Neptune underwater? I want to say spork. It's not a freaking spork. God damn it, what is it called? I don't know. Alright, so I guess this just means I need to go back? I guess so. Oh, there we go. Shortcut. Hope this doesn't kill me. Whew. Not too bad. Uh, a little bit further down for the lift. Hope I'm going to the right spot, and it is this lift that's opened. Okay, thank God. I wish they decorated something other than spiders. 
Why a spider, anyway? It's another aspect of Asha, the Dragon of Order. A very literal interpretation, honestly. And now I have to wait for the thing to come all the way back down? Oh my god, I have to wait for it to go all the way to the top and then back down. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sure if I'm happy that I got that secret or sad. It's like, congr congratulations for finding a secret. Now you have to wait an eternity. Well, let's look at my pretty, pretty bow that I probably can't use. Damage too. Hmm, once a weapon is charged, it freezes enemies. Sounds pretty freaking sweet. I'm not sure what it means to charge the bow, though. Does that just mean do a power attack like this? takes us to the crystal chamber. Once you restore the Shantiri crystal to its place, the skull will be ours, and all of Ashan with it. Fenrig would be so impressed with what you've done. Who built this place? Servants of the Seventh Dragon. They were clever with their hands and had a thousand years to do it. So why are orcs guarding it? I guess that they took it over. They came to the islands after the Wars of Blood, and their shaman probably sensed the power of the temple. God damn it! More spiders! Ugh, disgusting things! Well, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Look at this guy. Frozen in a perpetual shriek of agony. Sounds like they just fell from the ceiling. Where does that go? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? What? Oh. I don't think it lasts that long. Is it breaking apart? If it is, then I... Yeah. I think I just missed my opportunity. Um, unless... Nope! I was trying to get over just just enough so that I could shoot another arrow into the stub. The blood and their shaman probably sense the power of the temple. Rematch. I hit it so hard it disappeared. And I still got it. More spiders. Ugh, disgusting things. No wonder the next Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Wait, I'm supposed to do this from the upper level, aren't I? Eh, whatever. Well, okay, maybe I should. <laughs> I was thinking I could do it anyway. I don't think I can.
Oh, oh, all right, hold on. Calm, calm down. Don't put me into the stuff. All right. Oh, thank God. Okay, so you can still put a rope into the stub. Nice. There's a weapon there. This must be another secret area. Yes. Unfortunately, I keep finding weapons I don't care about. Soul Reaver Staff. Again, why are these super special weapons just hanging out in, in random houses? Alright, check the thing out. Probably can't use it, right? Nope, need Magic Affinity 3. Steals opponent's mana on hit. So it's kind of like the Soul Drinker. Except for magic users. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.